that's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do, put this on that collar. Hey, hey, enough. There's only one difference. <laughs> one. No, unhook that. Okay. Just get out of the center. There you go. Okay. Yeah, it's too long. Okay. She's not aggressive to people, right? No. Okay. Yeah, right. Uh, this isn't a lover, I hate to tell you. This is a dog that blows people off to get a dog. Say that again. She doesn't love people. She's oh. concerned about dogs. Yes. So I'm standing right here. She doesn't love oh, me. Right. No, right. Okay. <laughs> so her love is not necessarily people. Right, okay. Okay, this is fear. This is, she's scared. She's afraid of those other dogs. So this is a dog, quite possibly, that's gone to dog parks, played in groups, big dogs have bumped her around, and she's never learned to depend on you. She likes you. But if she trusted you for her safety, she would let you take care of it. She's not, is she? No. Okay. Now, if you were scared to death to come in here, and there was big people everywhere, and you didn't speak the language, and you didn't understand what was going on, you wouldn't feel safe either. Easy. Good, easy, Bella. Now, because she's got a history, yes. you believe she's going to do that all the time. So consequently, you treat her like she's a, like she's a vicious animal. No, you came in with her, with your hand wrapped and, yeah. But when you're prepared, you're telling her that's what you're expecting her to do. Does that make sense? Yeah. We're going to change that. All right, now. When we are working with an animal, if you have to struggle, hi, baby girl, you're not in charge. Right. You're struggling. Right. You struggled when you went to get the car. I watched out there. Right. You struggled when you went to get her out of the car. You struggled coming in here. You struggled. A pack leader doesn't struggle. You're either in charge or you're not. Now, you've only had her a short time, right? Just a couple weeks couple weeks. So whoever raised this dog taught her that she had the right to do that. Okay. Now, do you have kids? Um, no, not that live with us. We have adult children that come. No, home. you had kids. Oh, yes, gotcha. Okay, <laughs> what if one of your kids treated you that way? Yeah, well, it wouldn't fly, would it? No, no, no. Hi, you. Okay, she has no respect for personal space. She has no, um, she likes you, but she is scared to death. All right. We need to teach her, already she's calming down. Easy, good girl, easy. I know, we'll get over that. Good girl, all right. Now we need her to trust us so she doesn't feel like she's got to protect herself. She's not been around good, calm dogs. Mm -hmm. She's been around rowdies. She, yeah, she has a history of a year with a family that had six children and one dog that was like her, male, that she never got along with, and she picked fights with that dog. That's Be been her last well, year. she didn't know what to do. Right. She didn't no, know but what to do. I don't think they, don't they didn't take her anywhere. Her, they, you can tell how they were by the way their kids were. They were wild. They allowed that big male to bully her. She had nobody that saved her. They say she was the aggressor. With the dog. She was scared to death of that so big dog. Well, sure. If, if you, as a little kid, 
were beaten up by an older brother. Yeah. As you got older and got more powerful, you you get out of it. Yeah. And whatever you learn, that's what you do. Yeah. You're fine. Easy. Now we need her not to be able to win a fight. We need her to be able to self-calm. Right. Easy. I know, it's terrible, isn't it, good like girl? Never said this no, girl. I'm not, no. Or a dog that man on TV, no, 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 no. okay, like okay. Dog well, she's never been this calm no. this close to other dogs since but I But they're started. calm. Yes. That's the beauty of it. Yes. That's why our kids in this country are nuts, is because every other kid is nuts. They're not taught, hi, honey, good girl, I know. It was a terrible thing, wasn't it? Did you have a terrible time? I thought so. Good girl. Hi. What a good girl. Bella, is it? Yeah. Hi, Bella. Oh, what a good Bella. Hi. Now, she's going to react to what she gets attention for. Okay. You give her a lot of attention. You're my baby, blah, blah, blah. But she doesn't have any work to do. She just gets attention. Mm -hmm. She gets even more attention when she's a crazy dog. Yeah, I see what you mean. You grab a hold of her. You hold yeah. on to her. You, you're even closer to her when she's bad than when she's good. OK. She's not an aggressive dog. If she was an aggressive dog, you couldn't stop it. The assessment of how aggressive or how much it, a dog, you know, how easy it's going to be to train is how much effort it takes to get it to change. How much effort? None. <laughs> now, the dog is born trained. We're not teaching them anything new. I taught my dog to sit. You did not. You just connected a word to something the dog's already done. So in our country, we've got so silly that we convince people that the dog doesn't know anything unless we teach them. Then we try to teach them in a way that we would like to be taught. Bribery gets you nowhere. Prevention gets you nowhere. Drawing lines and helping the dog understand what's acceptable, what's not, is the only way that dog knows what to do. Now, there's two complications to it. First of all, the only way a dog can ask you a question is to test you. He can't raise his hand and say, can you go over that again? I didn't quite understand. The dog doesn't understand. so. In our silliness, good, easy, Bella. What a good girl. You're fine. Now, what is that saying to you? She's relaxed. She also is trusting me to keep her safe. Now, until she has faith in a person, there's no way she's going to trust that person for her safety, just like us. If it was not somebody that was stronger than you, you aren't going to trust them to keep you safe. That's what she needs. Not somebody who's all worried about what she's going to do. Somebody who says to her, you don't have to worry about it. I got this. Now, if you can't control her, that means she's stronger than you. Hey, you're fine. Thank you very much. Good. So this dog is already born trained, simply doesn't speak English. The only way she can test you or ask you a question is to test. So when you put those two things together, then add to the fact you're a stranger, where do you think your problems come from? Communication. 
lack of communication. Now, she was with at least one family, if not two or more. Okay. Eat plus her birth home. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But every time a dog has to s switch homes, they've got a whole new set of rules. So what one family said she could do, the other one said she couldn't do, what you want in a dog was not anything like they wanted in a dog. They had six kids running around the house and a big old bully cow of a dog. How could she, she lived that way for how long? Uh, less than a year, but probably almost a year. Long ago. enough. Two in September and yeah. Was with the first yeah. people they knew. So how could you come out of a situation like that? She lived in a war zone. It'd be like adopting one of those kids from a foreign country and then bringing them home and giving them all the privilege in the world. They don't even know what to do with it. Good girl, Bella. Hi, you. This is a total lack of communication. That's all it is. You feel better? Yeah. Good. I'm so to learn you I should be. Learn. <laughs> this is going to be great fun. Come here. Hi. You can't move. You can't move. Oh my goodness. Are you stuck? Good girl. Chair, do you? How come? Did you meet somebody with a wheelchair? Hmm. Huh. Good girl. <laughs> You're a good girl. Look at you. I know. Good girl. I know. Good girl. Your mother puts these silly things on you. Doesn't she know that's how a horse can really pull? is to hook a harness on them. I know. You know how she is. You're spooky, aren't you? You never had any inconvenience in your life. You've just tried to avoid everything. That's a terrible way to live. I'll bet we need to find you a chair. There's a whole bunch of chairs over there. Okay? All right. Now, it actually is better if... Hey, hey. Now, you're fine. Good girl. If you are sitting, because she's afraid you're going to leave otherwise. Okay. So if you relax, she'll relax. Okay. Good girl. Now, every time there's some movement, every time the chain moves, every time she was worried about the wheelchair, she was. It usually means the dog is not properly socialized, meaning she hasn't been exposed to a lot of different things. If you had a little kid that spent most of its time inside, any new experience is always scary. So one of the things, hey, now you are fine. Nobody likes goofy dogs. Thank you. When we get a dog, they come already programmed. They know how to sit. They know how to lie down. They know how to eat. They know how to follow directions from somebody they understand. The big problem is they don't speak English. We don't speak dog. So it's not that we're training them to do anything. It's that we're connecting a word with a behavior. She's been sitting since she was two weeks old. But to have her sit, she doesn't understand the word. So our job is to learn to communicate with her just like a foreign speaking kid. Good girl. He's all right. She liked you. In her opinion, you're a good guy, so we'll see. Okay. Now, when you, when you start to train a dog, my feeling is we don't want to train them like a person. So we can't talk to them and explain it to them. We have to teach them like the leader would do. All right. A good leader would never struggle. That top dog is in charge. They don't struggle. They draw lines, and that's what they expect. Humans prevent, help, explain. Dogs need to know one way or the other. 
So it boils down to the only th way a dog can ask you a question is to test you. So, kind of looks like this. I don't know him, right? Must be okay, he didn't care. Mm -hmm. A dog would say, listen here, you. Humans will take it about three times and then they'll say something. Mm -hmm. Well, by that time, I've already done it three times. I thought it was okay. Right, right. Okay. So the dog needs to understand immediately, not warning, not explaining, not helping. Don't. That's enough. Now, when I train, I start out with the same words that you would say to a child. Come on. Easy. Wait. With me, subtle, that's mine. With those words, the dog will come when it's called, walk nicely by your side. Now we have to use the word off if we don't want the dog to jump, which she jumps. Mm -hmm. But this is the first layer of words. On top of that, back off, off. <laughs> um, you know, there's other words besides that. I don't worry about the sits and down so much in the beginning as weight. I don't care what you do, whether you sit in that chair, whether you stand up, whether you lay on the floor, but don't bug me, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what we need from the dog, too. We need her to be quiet. So the first words we start out with, come on, easy weight with me, subtle mind. I will speak about quiet. Now, what I did to her to start with, good girl, is I put some chain on there. Now, she's tied on that line, but that chain pulling down halfway makes it a resistance. Good girl, easy, 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 I know. It's kind of dumb, isn't it? The chain hanging down it takes a lot of effort to hold your head up when you got a weight like that. So when her head comes down, her attitude changes. Easy, good, easy. She's used to getting so much love when he walks in. Well, the problem with it is, if your praise, the only praise you can give her, is a treat or petting, all of that has to be done right next to the dog. How do you teach her to behave away from you? Praise her. Hey, you're fine. Thank you. Now, you need to speak to her. You're a good girl. You be easy. Tell her. It's, it's OK. Good girl, Bella. Good girl. You be easy. Be easy. There you go. Now, you just spoke to her, and that's truly what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. OK, now don't stare at her. Now, your eyes connected to her are just as bad as you petting her. She wants your attention all the time. God, does she ever. But you fall for it. So you've sat at this table, and every time she does anything, your eyes go right back to her. Because if she gets into stuff, you better be watching her, because that's how she's correcting you when you lose attention. <laughs> You need to condition her that you can sit here and have a house full of company, have a discussion, watch a movie, eat your dinner, and said dog is not allowed to bug you, just exactly like it did with five kids. Mm -hmm. There's no way you let those kids compete for your attention. If you were busy, you kids are just going to have to wait. Well, it worked with them. You need to practice the same thing. Now all the kids are grown up. Now you got one dog, and she's working the system. She came from a place that was not all that pleasant. Now she's got the she's the only game in town, and she likes it. Good girl, Bella. So she needs to get the attention for doing good things not being demanding, not being rowdy, not being rude and obnoxious. That makes sense? Yeah. Okay, so we can sit over here, and when she's calm, which she is, what a good easy. That's what you'd say to your kids. You kids, settle down. 
good saddle. Now saddle's basically like you're on your coffee break and I don't want, I, don't bug me. Leave me the heck alone. <laughs> you settle. We're busy. We have a party going on, you're not invited. So you have like a live-in employee. Hey, nobody likes that. I have a question though. Sure. So, if, you know, the, the, you know, I'm reading my mm -hmm. paper, mm -hmm. drinking my coffee, whatever, mm -hmm. but then now let's say, you know, I've put my paper down and now it's okay, I, I don't mind her attention. But if this was an employee, yeah. okay, and, or this was one of your kids, and you put your paper down, yeah, you have the option of turning your attention, but sometimes you just want to sit there and think about what you read. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you are thinking about something, so it's not their right to immediately be waiting to pounce on you like a tiger. Mm -hmm. You put the paper down. Your option, right? So am I confusing her though if she walks up to me and wants attention? Because I mean, you know, we're, I'm petting her. Did you give your kids attention on demand? Uh, not on demand. That's what so she's never doing. Then no, are... now why? Okay, if if a child walked past you every, you know, whenever, sure. and every time they walked past, you hugged them. First of all, it's weird. <laughs> and what it does is cheapens the attention. Mm -hmm. So if she can get it on demand, what does she care whether she pleases you? You acknowledge the kids. Now, you let the dog get by with things that you wouldn't let the kids. If you were sitting talking on the phone, all right, and the kids came up to you and wanted to be hugged. Now, I'm, I'm busy. The dog you pet. Why is that? Well, I, I'm, I would have probably given my kids some, some of those hugs. Some. Yeah. But and, not I know constantly. I a lot of love. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm but, that too much. Am I doing yeah, that? you probably are. Okay. Now, you just hired this woman. Mm -hmm. She just moved in. She's already got you at her beck and call. She's already telling you when you. She, she wants you to give her attention. Now, what do you do for, what do you, how, where do you work? Well, normally I work at Mercy Hospital. Okay, but that's right. Okay. For a number of okay. Months, so I'm home all the but time. But if you hired a, a candy striper, or, you know, a candy striper, you know what they're like. Did I do it right? Do you like this? This, you know, and you have to tone it down. So in the beginning is when you establish it. Now, this is what you get for attention on demand. She's demanding attention, isn't she? You have got to teach her in the beginning that you don't give her attention on demand. And then as you become, you've only had her a short time. That's not even the probationary period, is it? Okay, you've already moved her in, given her a key to the vault, and she's telling you. Mm -hmm. Well, we do, you know, have her weight and yeah. stuff. It's not like all the time, no. but I do give her all. Now, pit bulls are really kind of foolers because they are sensitive dogs. They didn't, there's some dogs that they're physically lack sensitivity. A lab, they don't have it. They, they don't even feel it. A shepherd is lack sensitivity. Hi, you. Good dog. Are you being a good girl or what? All right. So now we've done some preconditioning. She's, she's realizing that I can walk away, I can come back. Now we need, now this becomes training. 